Hello, my name is Mignus. I am not the karaoke king at uh, Turkana, that only goes to Pete, my friend. But I am, however, chosen to make this video for you. And this video is about how to fit the mad mules to a motorcycle. What do you get in the kit? The mad mule base consists of the base, which just goes to the top of the motorcycle. And there's two legs, to the left and the right hand side. There's two compression straps that you use for over the seat or when you use the base as its, as its own on a, on a motorcycle. You get the two cleats, whether you use it on the back of an of a enduro motorcycle or on the side, wherever you, you need to fit the straps that there's no tie down points on the, on the motorcycle. There's a rear strap that we supply that goes around the rear of an of a enduro motorcycle or any motorcycle in the rear where there's no space or fitment attachments for the base on the rear of the motorcycle. That's that. And then we also supply you with a laminate that you can use on, on some motorcycles where you feel that there might be some uh, movement of the base or your motorcycle and you need to protect the panels uh, for that. The next incredibly important aspect is that you need to understand and know how to properly weave molly to a PALS webbing system. If you're not Chuck Norris or in the army, please watch our video how to weave that the bags to the base properly or any of our pouches to any of the bags that we have properly you will lose your stuff we've got a video on that you can check it in the link in the link um, but please do watch it make sure you understand how to do it properly the first step in assembling the mad mules is to get the bags that you've got onto the weave that onto the each leg of the mad mules the reason being is that it is easier to assemble once you get to the bike or, or adjust the, the mad mules for whatever bike you're, you're going to use. There's three ways of attaching the mad mule base to a motorcycle. One is you use the rear rack that's with the motorcycle, which the majority of adventure bikes have. Thread it through there, attach it to the base. The second option, if you have an enduro motorcycle, is use the two cleats that we give. You secure them on the, on the rack on the, on the back and then tie it through that. The third option is we also supply a strap that goes around the tailpiece with two D-rings and you can secure the webbing to that. Standing behind the motorcycle with the base name Turkana shown to you, open, open the base and then use the one leg. Decide whether you want the angle higher up, lower down, if you want it wider or, or, or narrower according to the motorcycle and then place that in the in the base then the, do the same with the other one and you can really go quite narrow depending on what what motorcycle you use it is better to have the bags angled more vertically than horizontally they sit better on the motorcycle and the system works much better that way once you've adjusted the bags which you think it will be okay or it will fit the motorcycle well then close the base the next step is to thread the webbing through your your tie down point on the back of the motorcycle you do not tie it back to the ladder lock on the base itself the strap must attach to the ladder lock that's on the leg it will fold my v like that next attach the strap from the base through the big D-ring on the on the leg and go thread it back through the ladder lock like that the reason being is that you secure the base to the to the leg and with the rear strap the force is now pulling through the base onto the leg and through to the to the foot pegs or wherever you attach them on the on the motorcycle make sure that the that the straps are tucked into this little cavity in the base. Do the same for the for the other side. At this point, do not tighten the straps completely. You need to attach the bottom straps after this, and then we will tie it down uh, properly. On the bottom of the bag, there's a cam buckle, the webbing. On most motorcycles, there's places to secure the webbing onto the onto the motorcycle but many do not have that you'll either have to use the foot peg go around the foot peg or you'll have to use another one of the cleats to secure to the motorcycle and then use that to secure the webbing onto the uh, cleat 
for the purpose of illustration I'm just going to attach the webbing on the bottom through the uh, around the foot peg and then secure it through the cam buckle like that again do not secure it properly we, once we've got all the four attachment points on the motorcycle uh, fastened we will then uh, compress it properly once you secured all four straps decide where you want to have them on the motorcycle to have a little bit of adjustment but every motorcycle is different so some you want a little bit forward some you want a little bit backwards it just depends on where you want them and probably as you ride after a while you'll figure out maybe you have to move them a little bit backwards or a little bit forward but be that as it may once you've got all four straps secured then start slowly tying the, the back ones a little bit more then go to the foot peg pull that down a little bit more and make sure that the base the mad will sit properly secure on the back of the motorcycle there must be as little movement as possible so make sure that they are completely tied down you do not have to strap them that tight that you start to bend the subframe of the motorcycle just make sure that they're very nice and tight very important some motorcycles do not need a compression strap the majority of them will probably need a compression strap the reason being is the more the bags are compressed against the bike and supported by the entire subframe of the, of the seat the luggage are carried in a much better way than not having them you'll receive two compression straps with the manual base the functions are with the manual base if you use that alone or when you have the legs on so that you can secure and compress the mad mules the legs to the motorcycle on the mad mule base legs there are five d-rings two you will use for the compression straps of the of the bags and the, the the remaining three you use to secure the compression strap to the motorcycle and it will loop through the through the d-ring to the other side bring it back and then tie down through the the ladder lock like that adjust the ladder lock so that it sit closer to the to the deering and out of the way from having it over the seat and then you can compress it a little bit and then tie it down with the tight tidies. You can use both straps or you can only use one strap depending on what motorcycle you use and the weight of the of the bags. If you're going to use the 20 liters, the 15 liters and you lo load a lot of luggage into it, try and use both straps because it just keeps everything nice and tight on the motorcycle. With each manual bag you receive two compression straps, a waterproof inner and the back with the three liter bush baby the five liter manual back you get one compression strap each there's no need for two of them and then with the 10 liter the 15 or 20 liter you'll get two compression straps each to use on the bags it is critically important that you make use of the compression straps when you load heavier items it will secure the, the bags to the base and it will it will compress the bags to the motorcycle how to fit the compression strap to the base there's five D-rings on each side that you use. The best alternative is to use compression straps on each alternative D-ring on each side. The compression straps consist of two pieces, both as loopy loop or piggiest, whatever you, whatever you want to call them. Thread them through the D-ring like that. Secure it through the D-ring on the back, the two D-rings on the back, flip it over, then the other side do the same, get the pigs here through, like that, you secure them through the ladder lock. and you use the tight tie to tighten it it depends on which side of the motorcycle the left or right it is easier to compress the bags pulling it upwards than pulling it downwards 
on the bad build base there's additional webbing and D-rings for you to attach more bags and or a duffel bag on the back of the motorcycle so on the on the manual base you can use two water bottle pouches if you want you can use the three liter bush baby you can use a five liter uh, you can all the way you can go all the way up to five ten or even a 20 liter you can fit on the back of the manual base you can configure the manual base any way you want well you can configure the whole system any way you want on the majority of our manual bags there are pals webbing on each side this allows you to add more carrying capacity to the bags and configure it in such a way that you want maybe you need the uh, ox packers for water bottle pouches or for fuel canisters or you want to add for additional uh, quick access uh, pockets to the side of the mad mill this is our 25 liter waterproof and duff dust proof duffel bag we have added enough tie down and d-rings to the manual base so that you can quickly attach this or take this off uh, wherever you stop if you're the kind of person that rides in quite dodgy places and you cannot leave the manuals on the bike you to take it off is literally four straps that you have to quickly untie and the same goes the next morning when you when you add them back some stage maybe you need to use the base on its own maybe you're going to go for a quick short ride or you just want some storage space in the back of your motorcycle you use the base on its own the two compression straps I've mentioned earlier, you use that to tie the, the base down to the, to the foot pegs or to the anchor points on the motorcycle on the side. And the cam lock on the back, which I've mentioned earlier, now fetch through the strap or the cleats or the motorcycle base and back to this leather lock there. Additionally, the two straps that you normally also secure the legs to the, to the mad mill base, Tuck, tuck them into the little cavity that's that's inside there and then you can use the 25 liter duffels or whatever you need to attach to the back of the motorcycle where there's not enough other attachment points you can use that just a few tips on packing your bags the waterproof inner is also airtight so what you have to do is do not close it before you put it in the bag get it in your in your side saddle then squeeze the air out a little bit roll it once or twice squeeze the air out and but make sure that they at least roll three or four times to make it properly waterproof and dustproof you can if you want to add a little bit of stuff in the afternoon just quickly stop for a cold drink or something to eat you can unroll them and just put it in there but to get all the air out and the easiest to pack them is to pack them without being rolled up the cell the, the same with the outer bag Roll it once or twice, squeeze the air out, roll it once or twice until you get to four rolls, which is then uh, rolled properly to what it's supposed to be. Lastly, very important, we do have a heat shield. Many motorcycles do not need a heat shield, but there are motorcycles that will need a heat shield. We recommend that you keep the bags away from the exhaust, five to seven centimeters, or at least have some airflow between the bag and, and the exhaust. We'll have a 15 centimeter long heat shield and a 25 millimeter, uh, 25 centimeter long heat shield. That's it, folks. That's all for the Mad Mules. It's quick and easy. There's nothing complicated about it. Go have fun. You don't need to like and subscribe. Just get out and ride. Have fun. Enjoy it. Cheers.